Turning now to the latest on the war in the Gaza Strip. Some U.S. citizens who were stranded in Israel have set sail to safety from the port of Tel Aviv. This evacuation comes as the State Department warns travel within Israel is now, quote, at your own risk, end quote. Fox News correspondent Lucas Tomlinson has more. We're leaving because uh, it's unsafe here. We've had rockets a few times in uh, my city in Roshayan, and I have two kids. And uh, it's very scary to wake up, wake them up in the middle of the night, running to the shelter room. As the fighting escalates between Israel and Hamas, a U.S. ship has left the port of Haifa with American citizens on board. Commercial airlines have largely stopped flying into the airport in Tel Aviv. Our flights were all canceled. We found out uh, within a day or two, we realized we didn't have a flight. So we were waiting to see what would happen. U.S. Embassy officials say Americans and their immediate relatives in Israel could have taken the ship to Cyprus. Well, the ship is taking us to Cyprus, and uh, we have a flight booked from Cyprus to Dallas. While sea evacuations have happened previously in Lebanon, one leaving from Israel is rare. Officials were busy verifying passengers' documents before boarding. Among the passengers, some tourists whose time has been cut short by the war that broke out a little more than a week ago. I'd love to stay, but my family is all saying, please leave, please get out while you can. We would love to come back and finish what we didn't get to see. And uh, I feel so much for the people. Excuse me, it makes me tear up so much they're going through. But we're with them. We pray for them every day. The U.S. government estimates there's roughly 600 dual nationals remaining here in Israel. In Tel Aviv, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.